Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? Cualquier, cualquier mamá o que está allá en la tarima, supuestamente, ¿verdad? con el Espíritu de Dios, nunca te va a enseñar la verdad con acuerdo a lo que dice la Biblia. Porque quieren seguir, seguir la trayectoria de mantenerlos eh, en limbo. Y te voy a enseñar algo. Aquí en este imperio, en este imperio estamos sufriendo igualito que a los morenos. Jeremías 50 y 33. Estamos en Jeremías 50 y 33. Escuche bien, porque tu pastor no te va a enseñar esto. Así ha dicho Yahweh. Así ha dicho el Señor. De los ejércitos. De los ejércitos. Oprimidos fueron los hijos de Israel. Oprimidos fueron los hijos de Israel. Y los hijos de Judá. Y los hijos de Judá. Déjeme explicar eso. Durante la época que el rey Salomón murió, la nación de Israel fue dividido. En el norte era el, el, el reino de Israel y en el sur era el reino de Judá. Arriba vivían los latinos con la gente indígena en el norte, porque esa es nuestra tierra natal. Esa gente que está peleando con los palestinos, esos son impostores, llamándose por nuestro nombre. ¿Ok? Son nosotros, entre nuestra tierra era en el norte. ¿Quiénes son los hijos de Judá? Los hijos de Judá son los morenos, los indios occidentales hoy en día, o sea, la gente jamaiquina y de las islas caribeñas y los haitianos. Así ha dicho Yahweh de los ejércitos oprimidos fueron los hijos de Israel. Oprimidos fueron los hijos de Israel. Y los hijos de Judá. Y los hijos de Judá. Juntamente, eh, juntamente, eh, juntamente, eh, juntamente, juntamente, el latino como el moreno está sufriendo y siendo oprimido de un imperio que no nos ama. Es la razón que si migra a la frontera están dividiendo a la familia latina. Sabemos que Trump cada rato está diciendo mucha porquería de la nuestra comunidad latina y no debemos ignorar eso. Él nos está llamando básicamente, somos criminales. Pero hay muchos de nosotros que queremos votar para Trump o queremos votar para, para la otra pendeja, para Cámara, ¿verdad? Creyendo que ¿verdad? vamos a tener este libertad, vamos a tener este, este, you know, igualdad. Cuando en, la, en este imperio jamás y nunca vamos a tener igualdad con los blancos, porque el, el hombre blanco es el diablo en la faz de la tierra. Y el día que no abrimos los ojos, el día que no abrimos los ojos, nos vamos a mantener bien perdidos. Y no ayuda que los pendejos que llamamos nuestros líderes religiosos, ¿verdad? nos enseñan correctamente, nos enseñan qué es lo que debemos hacer. Lo que debemos hacer es votar en religión. Y una de esta escuela, porque el latino y el moreno juntamente estamos oprimidos, ¿me entiendes? Cristo viene a morir, vino a morir solamente a los morenos, los latinos y nuestros hermanos, los indios nativos de aquí solamente ninguna, ninguna otra nación la mentira en la iglesia que nos enseñaron que Cristo viene a salvar a todo el mundo si le enseño una escritura ahora mismo le voy a enseñar una escritura de la propia boca de Cristo ¿verdad? ¿Vale? De la propia boca, porque muchos de los religiosos dicen que Cristo viene a, a salvar al mundo. Cristo viene y ¿verdad? murió para todo el mundo. Eso es una mentira. Y te lo vamos a probar. ¿Vale? Mateo 15 y 24. Ahora está en el Nuevo Testamento, porque tú sabes que en la iglesia, el acto es lo que se basa 
en el Nuevo Testamento. Deben apuntarlo. Apúntalo para que vaya a esos pendejos que tú llamas pastor o reverendo, lo que sea, ¿verdad? tu líder esp espiritual, para hacerle esta pregunta. ¿Qué significa esto lo que vamos a leer? Sigue. Y él respondiendo dijo, no soy enviado sino a las ovejas perdidas de la casa de Israel. Que, 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 que la, eh, eh, la mentira que están enseñando en la iglesia, que Cristo viene a salvar a todo el mundo. Léelo de nuevo. Y él respondiendo, dijo, no soy enviado. Esto, esto es Cristo hablando y él respondiendo, dijo, no soy enviado. No soy enviado. Obviamente, ¿quién lo envió? Fue el Todopoderoso, el Altísimo envió a Cristo específicamente para una nación. No soy enviado, sino a las ovejas perdidas de la casa de Israel. Sino a la oveja perdida de la casa de Israel. Bien importante, esa palabra es bien importante. ¿Por qué él llamó a Israel ovejas perdidas? Porque no tenemos identificación. No tenemos lengua natal, no tenemos nuestra comunidad, no tenemos este, nuestra este, uh, you know, este, militar ni nada, no tenemos nada. Somos una gente bien perdida. Pero Cristo viene a salvar a nosotros, ovejas perdidas de la casa de Israel. Let me bring it back in English, right? Let me go back. I got to translate. I gotta do it because I know there's black people out here that be like, what the hell is Puerto Rican saying? What this, what this speak is saying? Well, I'm gonna tell you what this speak is saying. This speak is gonna say what God said in the Bible. Tell you what you like. Matthew 15 and 24. Right in the old Jeremiah. That's what I want. I want. I want you black people to understand something, right? I want you. I want to make it very clear. Something that your religious leaders would never show you. They'll never go into this book correctly. They'll never break it down correctly. Yet and still, this information is in plain sight. They should be teaching this in your churches, but they don't read. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Hold on. Read it again. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. It's not my words, but it's God's words. Yes. And he's saying, thus saith the Lord of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah right there. After King Solomon died, the kingdom was divided in two. In the north, we had the Israel, nation, the north, uh, northern kingdom, or the, 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 the nation of Israel. And in the south, we had the southern kingdom, the nation of Judah, right? So it says the children of who? The children of Israel. In the, in the northern kingdom, you have what we call today so-called Latinos and indigenous, you know, meaning Cherokees, the First Nations. That's who you had in the northern kingdom, along with your Nati Latino brothers. We keep going. And the children of Judah. And the children of Judah. And in the southern kingdom, you had the so-called black man, the so-called West Indians of today, the so-called Haitians. What happened to these two people? What happened to these two groups? What happened to these two families? Read. We're oppressed together. What? Oppressed together. What? Oppressed. Together, you understand, black man? Not only are you suffering, not only are you being oppressed here in this empire, you're oppressed together with Latinos. You're oppressed together with Native Indians. That's what God said. You know why? Because the white man is the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks That's of. That's right. He's oppressing us together. Look at the stats. Who's filling up the prisons, huh? Is it Chinese people? Huh? Is it Arabs? Is it East Indians? Is it Ethiopians? Is it Nigerians? No, it's black people, right? And Latinos. Whose babies are being murdered in the abortion clinics? Huh? Is it Chinese or Arabs or East Indians, Africans, Ethiopians, Koreans? No, it's black people, Latino. We're being oppressed together. I'm gonna show you something. Check this out. Right now, because of social media, blacks and Latinos are being pitted together, pitted against each other. Because they never want us to be blessed. They never want us to unify. It's the same tactic they ran game on us since back then. They ran this game like separating light-skinned Latinos from black and dark-skinned Latinos. The way they did it to black folks. They separated the dark-skinned black folks against the light-skinned black folks. Right? And they still doing it today. 
Right. And the natives, they did it to the natives too. What makes you think that things change? Ain't nothing really changed. Because now it's a new dynamic. Now it's let's make the black people hate Latinos. Look at the immigrants. That's, that, that's the narrative. You, you've seen it. The immigrants are taking over our cities. The immigrants are getting all these benefits. The immigrants are taking our jobs, so on and so forth. That's a tactic to make you hate your family members, to make you hate your brothers and sisters. Latinos are your brothers and sisters. Native Indians are your brothers and sisters. And, and we let these religious leaders of ours right convince us that no, the white man is right. The white man's right. If you let these Latinos, they're gonna take away all the black jobs. Please, please listen. You know where the black and Latino jobs are at? In these prisons. In these prisons. That's where it's at. They, listen, the servitude jobs, that's for black and Latinos. We ain't taking no jobs from black people. All we doing is being the slave in this empire. They, they keep us oppressed together. That's it, okay? And all that took them captives held them fast. See that all that took them captives, meaning who took black and Latinos and, and, and Native Indian captives? The white man. The white man is guilty of enslaving us. The white man is guilty of oppressing us. The white man is guilty of stealing our brothers and sisters, the Native Indians land. The white man is the culprit. The white man has been a terrorist to us for the last 500 plus years. Nobody can deny that, man. Listen, don't let social media dictate you stop loving your Latino family members because whether you like it or not, you're stuck with us. That's Whether you like it or not, you do. Right. We doing this. We doing this together, in good and bad. We need to stay together all the way, man. Don't let the, not even our leaders, not even our leaders, tell you no. Separate from these Latinos. Because right. at the end of the day, guess what? We're both oppressed together. Now, let me show you something. Just to, just to make something very clear, because I also said that Christ knew who He came to save. You understand what you don't learn in church? Go there. Right, Christ, listen, I hate, I hate to tell you this. Christ did not die for everybody on the face of the earth. Right, right. And I have to look, because I love black people and I love Latinos and I love indigenous. I gotta right. keep it real. I gotta show you what it is. I gotta show you what God said. That's, right. that's, that's how I'm gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you right here. Not my thoughts, not my opinions, but it's right here. Read. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth the son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. This is an angel that went to visit a black man by the name of Joseph, talking about his black son, Jesus. And she shall bring a forth a son and call his name Jesus. Now what Jesus was going to do? For he shall save his people. What type of noun is that? That's a pronoun. That's a possessive pronoun. Jesus is coming to save his people. Did it say everybody? Like the way they say in church? Huh? No. For he shall save his people. Now, come on, now. come on, man. Come on, listen. Get off my understand this. Understand this. Should we continue in these pulpits in these religious uh, um, temples, right? Should we continue being Catholic and Baptist and this and that or any type of religion? No, we shouldn't. Because there's a man that's going to save us and he's black. You know what I'm saying? With a white afro, white beard. Very dark skin, and he's the king of black people, you know what I'm saying? The king of Latino and the king of indigenous, man. He coming to save us. Oh, I'm going to show you something. Now, what if I have the brother read what Christ tell you out of his own mouth? I'm going to show it to you what out of Christ's own mouth. So that way people won't be like, ah, oh, he's just making stuff up. He's just making, he's just having the brother read the, the scriptures so that way it can sound like what, to make his point. Now, let's say what Christ said. Jesus Christ, read. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick. This is important. I'm going to notice to a lot of us who believe the nonsense that come out of church saying that Christ is God and God is Christ in the flesh. That's a goddamn lie. A black man by the name of Joseph had sex with a, a black woman named Mary, and they had a black child. That's how Christ came about. Christ was no immaculately conceived. Christ, Christ wasn't immaculately conceived. Christ came the same way I came, the same way you came and he came. 
Daddy, mommy had to. Nine months later, there is Jesus. So read. I am not sent, but. No, sorry. God sent Christ. Christ knew his orders. Christ followed orders. You understand? Christ followed the Most High's orders. And he said, I am not sent, but. Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Not to everybody on the planet. The house of Israel. Israel and the Chinese. The house of Israel. Israel and the Arabs. The house of Israel. Israel and the East Indies. The house of Israel. Israel and the Nigerians. The house of Israel. Israel and the Ethiopians. The house of Israel. Israel and the Koreans. The house of Israel. We've been playing, yo. We've been playing since for the last 500 years. Christ only saving blacks and Latinos and indigenous. That's, that's, right. No, right. that's it. There ain't no more explanation for that. That's, that's right. what it is, black man. Guess what? We're gonna have a black king. We're gonna get to move the planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? Under a black king, the way it should have been. Because guess what? In America, they will never let us have that. Heck, they won't give us reparation. No problem. No problem. Christ gonna make sure we get that reparation. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one Yeah. Babylon is falling